Today we are going to see the timing of events. We are going to understand how to timing events properly. We will be able to see which houses can have negative influences and which houses will have positive influences. So let's begin. But before that, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels, for writing in your suggestions and your comments. And if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. And do remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates. Yes. We talk about timing of events. Why? Because prediction is a major part. It's not the only part, and definitely not the only part of astrology. But it is a major part when we want to know when good things will happen to us, and we have to be cautious about when. Something untoward can happen in our life. So let's and being cautious of the not so good happenings is also very important. So we look into that area today. As per Fal Dipika, Bhav Tin Chintan Adhyay and Timing of Events, it's very clearly stated in Shloka number twelve that. When one wants to understand when a house will not function well, you need to look into the dasha and tapasha. Check out the dasha period of a lord. If the lord is not a friend of the house that you want to talk about, look into. Then it may not give the good results of that house. But more so, in my practical experience that I have found, if the antar dasha lord that is working is not a friend of your house lord, say supposing for the single lagna people, they want to know if they will be able to build a house which is the fourth house of Scorpio in a Mercury antar dasha. Mercury and Mars are not good friends at all. So, do you think Mercury will allow that to happen? The person may purchase a property, but Mercury and Mars have a very strong relation. Two step forward, one step back, or I can also go ahead and say one and a half steps back. So, person may pro uh, get the property. That property may be under dispute, and it. Carries on till the antar uh, dasha of Mercury, and it is only after that that the person is able to resolve and start rebuilding his own house. In another matter, you can also see the Ashtak Varga points. So here we are getting two ways to understand when a planet is capable of delivering negative results for a house. It's stated in Faldipika again in the same, uh, same shlok in shloka number 12 where it states that supposing a planet is sitting in a house or not even sitting in a house, when we do the Ashtakma <coughs> and we find that a particular planet does not have any bindus or any positive points to give to a particular house in an Ashtakma. During that planet's tenure, you will not be able to feel any good effects of that particular house. In fact, it can give negative results. So, for example, in the Ashtakvarga of, in the, say, supposing for a Leo Lagna person, I might come across and say, yes, the seventh house is very strong, the seventh lord is well placed, this, that, all of it. But, now what happens is, I find that I go to the Ashtakvarga of uh, the chart and uh, I see that moon in its, or let's take it Mars, in its Ashtakvarga or even for that matter Venus which is the Karak of spouse and the seventh house 
and it is very good for aquarius but in aquarius it has given no good points no positive points no ashtakwar ka bindu se then what happens to this venus during the tenure of dashandra dasha venus the person will not get married in fact if the person is on the verge of getting married or is uh, having a relationship and wants to convert it into marriage it can act in a detrimental manner venus need not be placed i repeat in the sign of aquarius just it's not having any bindus in aquarius is enough to do the job so here we see two ways we see two we saw two principles operating where you have to be cautious that something untoward may happen and let's not start something new or organize something relating to a particular house in that period so what is it first and foremost if a enemy antar dasha lord or a pratyantar is working stay away from working or happenings of that particular house to avoid crisis to if a planet in it the ashtak varga of a particular house offers no good points to that house then don't go ahead and plan anything new with respect to that house in the tenure of the planet we are talking about because it will not give any good results these are the shlokas which are tried and tested on many charts do try it on yours do let us know how you found it until we meet with you again stay safe thank you please hit the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel